Once you've completed the section view uh, of our walls, our wall details, we need to take them and to be able to share them. So we'll move into layout to do this. Uh, there is a template for this and it should be found in Schoology. It's a WA template.layout. Uh, it will not open in Schoology. You need to download it and open it on your computer. So if it saves to your desktop or wherever you're, you're saving your files on the network, WA template is the default template that I've shared out with you through Schoology. When you first come into this, I would title it uh, project title can be your walls. Whoops. Uh, actually, before we do that, take note of this is in cap in all caps already, so you should be doing the same thing. Uh, the formatting should be relevant wall section view. And then first and last name, take a look at the capital. So this one is not all capital. If I can turn it off. Month, written out, uh, day and year. And actually the comma looks like it's in the wrong spot there. So this is all caps May. Let's say it is the 11th comma and the year. So just properly formatting the, the document, you can then go in and save it uh, to whatever title you want it to be. Uh, that's relevant to your, your de design here. Next thing we need to do is in to insert the document that we were just working with. So I'm going to come in here and find my section view and open it. And the first thing you'll notice is, or, or by default, what you should notice is that I'm actually going to close these and I'll show you how to open them. This just creates a view of whatever you had saved last in uh, SketchUp. I'm going to open some windows, the stuff that you should, should need. The SketchUp model is the one you definitely need. This is where we really get started. Uh, there are some others that we will eventually work around with. Shape style is another. Dimensions is a third. These, if you click them to one another, they kind of lock into each other, so that way they can travel together. And if you don't need them currently, like the first two we do not need, I can just leave this open. So these collapse onto themselves. And there's a whole bunch here that you can actually work with. But uh, for now, the only thing I think you need to have is, is the SketchUp model. So what this is doing is it's talking to what the document you're bringing in from SketchUp. And things you should notice is when I first grab this and scale it or move it around, what it's doing is it's adjusting the current scale factor because there isn't one set currently when you first bring it in. So a few things that we want to do is set a scale factor, a reasonable scale factor. Uh, currently, it gives you one that fits pretty much everything on the screen. I'm going to go half inch equals one foot. Uh, take a look at it. Is it too big? Is it too small? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. We'll play around with it in just a moment. We also need to look at the view, the way in which we're seeing into this SketchUp window. Currently, this is not a standard view. I want to look at mine uh, from a specific direction, not the top. Uh, you got to find which direction, depending on the orientation you had in SketchUp, is going to determine what part you're seeing. Right now, I'm looking at the right side view, which is the part, the sectional view, I want to be looking at. And this is too large. So I need to change my scale factor. I'm going to go to quarter inch equals a foot. And I can see now that I have everything visible in my SketchUp window. Next thing I want to do, and this should be, I, that quarter inch should be good for just about everyone. I'm going to cut off the information that, that the extra length that I had in my structure. And the same thing for the top and the bottom edge as well. So I just want to get this to a point where I can see what I want to see. And really that's what the section view is trying to show, the details associated with this drawing. Right now I can't see a great deal of details, but it's an overall uh, big picture that I can, can drop into this window. After you've gone through the views, and I currently have it quarter inch equals one foot in real life, um, it is an orthographic projection and it's currently looking at the right side of my structure. I'm going to change the style so that it's more printer friendly. And I can do this by clicking through all of the options. White on white's not so good. Um, white on these colored textures is a little bit better off. 
Um, so I can actually see the colored materials and color differences, uh, get the gist, but it doesn't have so much color in the background and stuff that is going to be a difficult thing to print. All right, so that's one opening scene. One thing I want to do with this is to select that scene and come into my shape style, the other one that I mentioned, and I want to click stroke. So that way I can frame out this view window, uh, this scene for my drawing. Sometimes it's good to break up your scenes in this fashion, uh, but this is where if you see that there's a border and you want it or you don't want it, it's a place that you can turn it on and off. Uh, that's under shape style and it controls whatever is selected uh, or is about to be drawn. So in this case, um, we'll have to determine what our finished design is going to look like, but this is where we can control the borders if we're trying to, to section off portions of the page. I'm going to actually turn this off for now. So it is awkward that this edge here just kind of disappears, so that's why uh, you may want to put that stroke on. But I'm going to drop another scene in. Uh, and in order to do that, I'm going to actually just hold the Option key down and drag a copy of the original scene. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to zoom in on and get more information about where my foundation is and how it connects to or where the building gets started, where this uh, floor is and where this wall corner and how this all looks, this detail down here in the lower left of my design. So to do this, I'm going to have to go back and change the scale factor. And let me see what I can get away with here. So I just bumped it up to a half inch equals a foot. And I'm going to have to mess around with the scaling of this space so that I can see it. This is a good start, but see if I can make this a little bit bigger and still get what I want. Because my goal is to get close. To that portion of the scene. Again, I want to control my widths. The overall size of this view. Just so I'm seeing what I want to see. Um, pretty good. Um, I'm going to try one more jump in the scale factor. I'm going to go all the way up to one inch equals one foot. And see if I can get away with it. And it looks like I might be able to fit this onto my screen. So there is no set scale factor. It depends on the size of the, the structure you're designing um, and how much details you're trying to fit into one scene. But you can see that this is now significantly larger and gives me the details I need uh, when I go to construct this building. Might not be able to see it all, but I can see the, the majority of that, that framing. And now I can jump in even closer. And we will need to report out on the final size that we, we want to use. So in this case, one inch equals one foot. This one over here, when I select it, quarter inch equals one foot. So it's four times the size. All right, that's one view. I'm going to do the same thing, moving this and holding Option down. And I'm going to select one more view. And to do this, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I want to do that upper corner where my rafter space meets. the walls. So I'm starting to look at something much larger than what, or at least a different shape than what I had originally started with. And at this size, I got to start making some decisions. So one inch equals one foot. If I want to try and squeeze this on the paper, might not be the best option that I have. Maybe I go to a second page, or maybe I'm able to get away with what I want to see by coming down uh, a little bit in size. And this is the, the work that we need to go through, or the details we need to go through in order to, to document, uh, to share the, the details that we are after. So that's the gist of it. That's getting stuff onto the page, trying to get the size and, and uh, objects, the, the details shown. Uh, there'll be additional information we need to go through and refine uh, in an upcoming video. But getting details about the foundation and the, the floor and then also the rafters and how these things are all assembled is, is what we are after.